Hello, my beloved sixth graders, and welcome back to Geography with Mr. Flynn. Um, it is time for our Asia notes. We're going to start with Asia in general, and during the week and over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be adding to it, okay, with one region at a time. This will be your first set of notes, and it will be on Asia in general, just a big overview of some of the superlatives of Asia. We'll start with the size of Asia, okay? This is called the Asia Superlatives, okay? Um, you can take a look at this um, uh, chart here, and you will see that Asia is the largest continent in the world by size in terms of square miles, over 17.21 square miles. And the first, that is the size, and the second is the population. So you'll see, we're gonna get to this in more detail later. Um, compared to the other continents of the world, Asia's population is also kind of stunning. But even by area, um, it is larger by, the, by Africa than almost, by almost 6 million square miles. Um, uh, the numbers here are in square kilometers, so it's pretty significant. Uh, so that is uh, Asia, and you can see the other continents by size uh, going on there. Now, this is Asia by population, okay? Asia is the most populous continent in the world. It has 4.46 billion people. Roughly 60% of the world's population live in Asia. And you can see that in that pie graph up above there where Africa, the next largest continent, has 14% uh, of the world's population. And Antarctica, no one lives there. So that's why they just put that little sliver in there. Um, so, of the countries in Asia, China and India are the most populous. And you see this nifty little map down in the corridor, which shows the population of um, uh, countries and how they relate to the size of other countries in the world. Um, and India and China are obviously quite large. Um, China is the most populous country in the world, and India is a close second, as it says in the notes, but China is almost 1.4 billion people, while India has almost 1.34 billion people. And most de demographers, those are people who study population demography, most demographers believe that uh, India, within the next 10 years, will surpass China in population. And if you just took China and India together, they contain 36% of the world's population. Now, the, in terms of the religions of Asia and what the two largest religious groups in Asia are, and they're, there's a close, they're very close, um, between Hinduism and Islam. They both have about 1.1% billion followers or adherents, as it says in the notes. Um, this first picture over here is the most sacred site in Islam called the Kaaba. Every person who follows Islam is supposed to, at some point in their life, if they are able, visit this holy site. So that is why there are so many people you see there, because those 1.1 billion people who believe in Islam are obligated by their religion, if they are able, to visit this site. So it is in that, that, by the way, is in Mecca, the city of Mecca in Saudi Arabia. And over here on this side is the Ganges River, which is the most sacred river of the uh, Hindu people, uh, the people who believe in Hinduism. And they bathe in that river, and they believe if they bathe in that river, even though it is quite polluted, they will um, be purified by that bathing. Um, they also believe that they believe in reincarnation, um, and they also believe that if they um, if they put if they bury people, like sometimes you will see bodies floating in the Ganges River, or if they're cremated and they sprinkle their ashes in the Ganges River, that will stop the process of incarnate reincarnation and they will become one with God, which is an interesting um, belief. Um, the largest country in Asia is Russia. And you can see just the Asian part of Russia up on top there, even just by itself, it is the largest part of Russia. Um, and you can see the different colors on this map. They're dividing it basically by regions, and we're going to do something similar um, between the Middle East and India, 
the Indian subcontinent, the stands as I call them, and, and uh, you'll see China and Mongolia. And then the other area known as Southeast Asia down there, we, we see with Thailand. So this would be the Middle East. This would be the stands, as I call them. This is Russia. We're going to study specifically Siberia. This is China and the Far East, which includes Korea and Japan. And we'll also be studying the Southeast Asia region as well, right there. But Russia is uh, by far the largest country in Asia. It's got over 5 million square miles of territory in Russia. But that particular region is very sparsely populated. And this is one of the, the last notes I'll be giving you today um, is on the civilizations that developed in um, Asia. There are three old, very ancient civilizations that all developed in Asia. The first one is Sumer in Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia is right here, right there. And that is in modern day Iraq um, between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Um, and it uh, began in 4000 BC. Ignore that four over here. I think I forgot to edit that out. That was when I was typing in the date 4000 BC. So that developed, the, the civilization of Sumer developed in 4000 BC. And all you ancient history guys might recognize that as a ziggurat. Um, a ziggurat was one of the earliest kinds of religious temples built in Sumer. Um, the next one is the Harappan civilization, which developed in the Indo River, Indus River Valley right here. And this is a picture of its most famous city, Mohenjo-Dari, Mohenjo-Daro, excuse me, which is the city of the dead. It's a very unique civilization and definitely worth studying. And the final civilization developed along the Yellow River in the Huanghe River Valley right here in China, the Yellow River. Um, and this is the, um, the uh, uh, an artifact from that early civilization right here. Uh, it's really quite unique and, and, and quite interesting artwork. So those are the notes on um, early Asia, uh, or excuse me, on Asia in general. You're going to have a quiz on these notes coming up on Friday. And uh, I will probably give you another lecture. So I hope you enjoyed this particular lecture on the superlatives of Asia. Make sure you take good notes and study those notes um, because we are going to have a quiz on Asia on Friday. You should also be working on your maps. Please do that with extreme care. Make sure you know where your boundaries are and your borders are as you label the map of Asia. And please remember to only label Asia. Don't label Europe. Don't, um, don't color, excuse me, don't color Europe. Don't color Africa. Just color Asia. All right. Um, it's, a, it's a large map. It's a tricky map. So I hope you guys are all um, enjoying your work at, at home with the Asia map. Please take great care with, with your labels. Um, and uh, and please just enjoy your um, enjoy your week of study in Asia. The next lecture I post will be one about the Middle East. Thank you guys.